Here's what you have to make sure your employees know and do. They have to know how to wash their hands properly and when it's required. They have to know how to take care of their hands and how to use gloves properly. They must also know what they can and can't wear when handling food. And they must understand your policies about smoking, eating, drinking, and chewing gum and tobacco. Lastly, your employees should recognize the importance of reporting any illness or injury before they begin working. Of all the behaviors I just mentioned, proper hand washing is without a doubt the most critical. Just imagine what could happen as a result of hands that haven't been washed properly or when necessary. Let's suppose an employee at one of our locations doesn't know he has hepatitis A. And he just returned to the kitchen after using the restroom and he didn't wash his hands. He heads over to the sandwich making station to assemble some hamburgers for a children's birthday party going on out front. And he's asked to help out by putting the finishing touches on the birthday cake. The kids eat the sandwiches, some more sandwiches, and some cake, and then some more cake. And then the kids pose for a picture with one of our mascots, who poses for a lot of pictures with a lot of kids. And you get the picture. And that's why I'll repeat that proper hand washing is absolutely critical to food safety. It's your responsibility to train employees how to do it properly, and then make sure they'd make a habit of doing it right. So here's the right way to wash your hands. First, you should wet them with running water as hot as you can comfortably stand. Next, you should apply soap. Then scrub your hands and arms for 10 to 15 seconds, and make sure to clean under the fingernails in between each of your fingers. Thoroughly rinse all the soap off under running water. And dry your hands and arms with a single-use paper towel or warm air hand dryer. Now here's something that most people don't think about. If you turn off the faucet after washing your hands, you've just recontaminated them. That's why you should train your employees to use a paper towel to turn off the faucet. And the same goes for touching the restroom door. If you're washing your hands in a restroom, use a paper towel to open it. So that's how the whole hand washing process needs to go to do the job right. Now here's when everyone's required to do it. Employees have to wash their hands on site before they start work for the day. They should also do it after using the restroom, after touching their hair, face, or body, after sneezing, coughing, or using a tissue. And here's something that surprises most people. You have to wash your hands after smoking, eating, drinking, or chewing gum or tobacco. You should also do it after handling chemicals that might affect the safety of food. Obviously, you do it after taking out the garbage and after clearing tables or bussing dirty dishes. You need to do it after touching any clothing or aprons and after handling money. You also have to after touching anything else that may contaminate your hands, such as unsanitized equipment or work surfaces. Lastly, you should wash your hands before and after handling raw meat, poultry, and fish. Some operations include the use of hand antiseptics in their personal hygiene program. Hand antiseptics are liquids or gels that are used to lower the number of pathogens on the skin. If used in the operation, they must comply with Food and Drug Administration standards. And you should also check your local regulatory requirements. You should only use hand antiseptics after hand washing, never in place of it. And make sure you wait for it to dry before you touch food or equipment. <laughs>